When we were young and growing up in the outdoors, we weren't dreaming about trophy racks and record books. Man, we were just dreaming about adventures. Crack it down, I got my real tree camo and scent block on. My kids right beside me in my tree stand, clutching that 243 from my old man. Those red tail lips take me where I wanna go. To my camo to fly to that old fishing hole. Nature creepin's on the thing I know, but I can't get there without these red dirt roots. on the table, it's what I do, I'm stocking game like a chicken saw that I used to, living off the land is my gift from God, packing heat with my rock, all my fishing around, those red dirt rivers take me where I wanna go, to my camel dirt blind of that old fishing hole, let your creepin's on the thing I know, but I can't get there, without these red dirt roots. Red Dirt Roots is brought to you by... H and H Shooting Sports, Auto FX, Lucky Lure Tackle, Cook, Feed, and Outdoor, Sundog Trails Off Road Park. On- hey, babe. I've been thinking a lot since we've been doing the H&H Friday night date night. I've been thinking a lot about things that I love. Aww. Like what? Like Springfield. And? And Ruger. And? Lever actions. And? I feel like I'm forgetting something. Something important. Oh yeah! ARs with aim points. We get people every day that come in and say, well, I'm looking for a bed cover. And my first question always is, why do you want a bed cover? The, the reason why we ask, you know, why do you want one is because that tells us, are you going to use it as a trunk? Just drag stuff out underneath it. Do you need to use it with a fifth wheel where you can cover half your bed? And so, so there's several different ones to choose from, anywhere from uh, $400 all the way up to, you know, $1,700, $1,800. The, the easier to use they are, the more you like them. This one here is, a, is just a, a manual roll-up. Easy to use, but if you're going to have to open it every day and roll that up, it becomes a pain. So if it becomes a pain to do that, then we go to a mechanical one like this. This is a piece by Roland Lock, and uh, it's an aluminum understructure, kind of like interlocking panels, and then they put a... Uh, marine grade vinyl over the top of it, but if you got a fifth wheel, fifth wheel's right here, you can throw the latch, you can protect what's up front. So when the fifth wheel's still usable without removing the whole cover. This year's deer season started off, let's just say, not so great. All right, everybody. Current status, not good. Uh, went out and hunted this morning, bow season. Uh, hunted this morning here in our property um, here in central Oklahoma. Last night we had five inches of rain out here. We needed the rain, but five inches, that's a, you know, that's a bit excessive, but that's what Oklahoma does. She doesn't tend to do anything like, kinda. She does it, you know. So I decided after the morning hunt that I was going to uh head down and and uh fill a feeder and um well let me just show you it, it, it didn't go real well and then it started raining after that so we'll walk down there and i'll show you but from up here i'll i'll, I'll show you what's happening yeah so that down there that would be my vehicle not in a good spot go. all right so we're gonna try this again <laughs> so literally yesterday the two times that I went home 
I was lucky enough and blessed enough to have uh, my father-in-law doesn't live far from here so he was able to take me home I've also got a, a guy I know out here who was very very helpful yesterday as well when my when the truck got stuck so I went home and I'd wait a couple hours because it wouldn't rain and I'd come back out and as soon as I'd get here it'd start to pour so last night my second attempt when I came out and was basically gonna head out there with the camera to show you guys the truck I couldn't because it started to pour so I waited in my uh, other vehicle for a little bit and then just went home and left it. So it's been sunny, it's been windy. I think it's dried out now, so let's go assess the situation. Here's hoping that the second we get down there it doesn't start to rain. It's a definite possibility the way things have been going. Oh, last couple of days, I guess I'd say, but it seems a lot more dry, or a lot drier, so I think we'll I think we'll be able to get it out. If not, drive it out, get it out with the tractor. So let's go check it out. After the craziness of the first couple days, it was time to hit the road and get this season headed in a better direction. Or maybe not. It's a little windy. Just a little bit. It's one half day about 40 miles an hour north and 40. But we're here. We'll see what happens. Join us on this adventure. Crazy enough, there was one buck blood for punishment presented himself just before the end of shooting hours. Unfortunately, with the wind and the crazy conditions, he just wasn't willing to stick around for anything. Uh, youth rifle season uh, we've got bird dog who y'all have seen on the show before that's my son and then we've got his buddy Austin it's Austin's first time to it's your first time to shoot a rifle correct yes first time to shoot a rifle it's gonna be his first time out in the woods actually hunting so we're here at the Oklahoma Baptist homes for children uh, the working ranch we're trying to get a couple rifles sighted in so they can fill out which one is uh, you know most comfortable for them and then we're gonna head on uh, to a property and uh, start hunting tomorrow so you boys ready yeah, yeah. all right let's go Got him. He's gone, bro. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. Just wait, just wait. Just wait. Bro, bro. Just wait. He's not down yet. Just wait. Be ready, Austin. You got your other bullet? Load it in just in Watch case. Him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. And guess what he's doing? To the ground, baby. <laughs> now the deer's so confused. Let's make me laugh. You did it, man. You squeezed off a good one. <laughs> High five. 
You squeezed off a good one, man. Ooh. We got him. First deer ever. <laughs> Third hunt. Oh. We didn't have any time to waste, man. <laughs> got in the stand, and as soon as it was daylight, now they were asleep. Yes. They were both asleep. I had to wake them up because I saw this buck way back in the corner. Austin laid the smack down. Austin did not miss the first shot, which is important. Yeah. After that buck fever caught in, he was shaken to death. So the second shot may have gone a little low, but the first shot was enough. It was enough to get him down. So he's down. We're going to give him a little bit of time, see if more deer don't come in. Red dirt root, y'all. Good job, man. Thanks. Oh. What do you think, man? This is awesome. Awesome? You enjoy it? Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. We fought hard, we fought winds, we fought rain, we fought thunderstorms, we fought everything for about three days. And then boom, man, the conditions were just perfect and this guy came in, so. Now you got a buck on the wall. Yeah. High five, come back here. Red Dirt Roots, it's all about the adventure. So guys, here we're at Cook, Feed, and Outdoor. You know, usually we're coming here to get deer corn. But when your wife has a horse, you end up getting horse feed. And that's what I got to do today. Horse feed and bedding here at Cook Feed and Outdoor. One of the newer uh, Oklahoma businesses that we've been buying a lot of product from is uh, the Redneck Rubber Company. They've come up with the Beaver Bottom Baits. This is a great crappie, crappie rig. This is a Ufala special. I mean, they catch tons of big crappie on this bait. You can see they're a little bit bigger. They're about a two inch bait with a big old paddle tail. I think that's where they get the beaver tail, the beaver tail type bait out of it. But fish it on that, fish it on an eighth or a quarter ounce jig head. These things will catch the big crappie guys. All right, guys, here we go. Muzzle loader season, smokestick season in the state of Oklahoma. Opening morning, and we've got 22 degrees outside. 22 degrees outside. y'all is downright miserable and we're in the, entering the second weekend of muzzleloader here in Oklahoma we get two weeks to get this done last weekend was 22 degrees the next day was 60 degrees today it's 80 degrees Saturday it's supposed to be 85 degrees tomorrow it's supposed to be 55 degrees Oklahoma is crazy I don't even know what to say schizophrenic I don't know I went ahead and set up in an open field here I saw some bucks out here on the way out the other night so I guess I can't find them on this property this year. They're, they're hiding from me. So I decided to set up a blind, throw some corn out there in the middle of the field and see what happens. It's kind of open pasture and it's got a lot of green out there. So we're just going to see what happens. But I don't know. They say you can't shoot them on the couch, but it's nice and cool on the couch here. It's friggin' hot. Man, what a difference a day makes in the state of Oklahoma.
it appeared my luck had changed when a nice good mature buck that I had seen on camera all season decided to step out after the fog had lifted. daylight enough and today he came out at about 720 720 730 which normally would be fine except today it's misting it's raining it's cold there's a strong north wind so he walked off because I couldn't I couldn't get camera light I thought he was gone I text my buddy and said I can't believe it he got me again and I don't know what happened but as I'm texting him he bolts back I've got a field out in front of me and there's a feeder on one end, and he bolted towards the feeder. I don't know if there was a doe there or what, but this morning before daylight, he was grunting, so I know he was on him. So I got him down. I'm almost positive it's raining, so there'll be no blood trail, but I watched the video. I hit him hard right where you should hit him. He ran. There's a thick area right out here. I'm almost positive he laid down in there and died. I'm sure he expired right there. Man. Man, it's always a good feeling. I don't care what the size of the animal is. Once you make that decision to take them, dude, nerves kick in. My hand started to freeze. I had to put a glove on one hand because the gun, the barrel of the gun was freezing cold. Love it. Love it. We're going to hang tight for another hour or so. Oh, I hate to do it, but we got to. I got other people hunting, so we're going to hang tight for another hour or so and see what happens. Man, the rut is about to kick up. Last night was a full moon. But the clouds here in Oklahoma have them moving today. So, man, stay with Red Dirt Roots Outdoor TV where it is all about the adventure. And I shot him right out here. And then he ran. I think he's right in the edge over there. We'll walk over and see. I tried to get the camera real quick after I shot him because it's all self-film here. We don't do the uh, cameraman stuff unless Perry volunteers. Uh, <laughs> But he was running straight, like, over here in this opening. And I turned the camera real quick. By the time I turned the camera, he disappeared. So I have a feeling he fell right here. Did you see him on the way over? <laughs> <laughs> you saw him on the way over, didn't you? Well, you couldn't, to the right. I didn't couldn't know take away from the... <laughs> nice. one on him. He's got just a ton of junk here. Can you get that junk? 
I mean, you can count all the junk kickers he's got. He's just a fat old boy. I'm glad to take him off, so that's awesome, man. His neck is big, too. Oh, my goodness gracious. I am not the first person to hit this deer. Look at this. He has issues. This hunting season was going to be hard to wrap my brain around as Logan and his buddy Jake were both driving themselves for the first time. Jake's here. It's time to hunt. The first morning of that hunt, it was pretty windy to say the least. But we luckily early on saw some does come in and there was a couple bucks chasing behind him. So chasing was a really, really good sign and kind of kept us in tight. And, and kept us on the edge of our seat. As evening approached, the wind started to die down, the temperature started to drop, and a buck we had been after showed his face. He's going down. Yeah. He's going down, Bubba. Yes! You got it. Let's go. You Ooh. got it. Yeah. 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 Nice job. <sighs> Duck down a little so we can see you. See you. Oh, oh, those deer are running off. Dude, let's see. Let's see time. Let's see time. You've got one and a half minutes. What time is it? You've got one and a half minutes still and no shooting time. Well, actually. You've got four minutes. I was wrong. Four minutes. <laughs> He's out there. He's down. We got him. Good shot. 30 out of six. Boom. That's amazing. Pumped? Yes. Well, we had That's to switch amazing. around a lot to get yeah. that to happen. Turtle. I was trying to, I had to lean on my right knee. It was cramping. I was... The does didn't move. Oh, they're still, they're still wanting to come in. Nice job, Bubba. Thank you. <laughs> Happy 16th birthday. Yeah. Camera recording. Oh yeah. It is right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I won't say what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I can delete anything, so say it. <laughs> well, I will admit that I sort of peed myself. When I <laughs> He couldn't see him because the windows were zipped up. And he's like, Dad, I want you to take him. I said, son, he's not coming in. He's in here somewhere. Or he's back by that tree. He's back by that tree. Oh, there he is. Huh? You see him? Yeah, he's right here. Where? He's still alive. 
Oh, stop, 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 yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I see him. He's right here. He's still moving. Stop. Don't, don't, don't. That's it. What do you got? Alright. Tell so us what happened. It's starting to get pretty late. And uh, I was honestly kind of starting uh, giving up on this hunt. They were starting their walk toward us. I was getting ready to pack up what little I had. And uh, all of a sudden, Dad spots these two does. Yeah, say that again. Who was starting to walk towards us? <laughs> oh. <laughs> these guys over here. Yeah. They were actually they were actually headed towards us because we were going to get down early, right? Yeah. Because uh, well, we just hadn't seen much. Um, but yeah, they got down, they were walking toward us, and, uh, my dad noticed the, the two does. Now, he now, to, to, to clarify here, they were walking towards us, but where did I notice the does? Behind us. Yes. Okay, we did not us. shoot anywhere near them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Plead the fifth on that one. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, well, um, what happened was he spotted this buck, and he was like, he was asking me if I wanted to take it. And I really just wasn't that sure. No, um, no. What did you want? What I want? What did you want? Why did you take it? Why did you want me to take it? Okay. And I've never taken one with my bow, right? Oh, yeah, that's it. He always misses. We thought it was coming in. Always misses. <laughs> um, but <laughs> nice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, uh, finally he said, I really think you should shoot it. But So I stood up and I took one look at it. And it yeah, <laughs> he was right. So, yeah. Uh, Four minutes. Four minutes before uh, shooting time was over. Uh, big book down. Got him done. Got it done. Uh, it, it was almost facing directly toward us. So we didn't want to take the Texas heart shot. No. <laughs> uh, so uh, we waited till it took just one step. One step to the right. Put its head up and um, pulled the trigger. Guys, Red Dirt Roots. Outdoor TV, where it is all about the adventure, and we had an adventure today with 50 mile an hour winds earlier this morning, and uh, we tried to wait it out and tough it out, and we just couldn't do it. So we came back and uh, got to this guy on the ground. So we're pleased and thankful. This is icing on the cake, as I like to say, icing yeah. on the cake. 16th birthday. 16th cake. birthday on Thanksgiving Day here in a couple of days, and 16th birthday, and we got yeah. one down. So tennis awesome. shoes and all. Uh, in tennis shoes and all. Yeah. He forgot his boots. <laughs> forgot 16 a years old and he forgot all this stuff. 16 years old. Not quite all up there. Well yet. done. <laughs> all right. Awesome. Another amazing deer season spent with friends and family. The smiles on their faces always says it all. Y'all, thanks for joining us on this adventure with Red Dirt Roots Outdoor TV. And as always, thank you to all of our servicemen and women, police officers, and firefighters would like to thank our sponsors h and h shooting sports cook feed and outdoor lucky lure tackle auto fx sundog trails off-road park would also like to thank our equipment sponsors hero outdoor products caney river calls i say yes sir i say yes ma'am and i'm proud to be who i am